Hi everyone, this is Boris. Welcome to my channel, Sketchman Boris. Um, so, so today I just wanted to show um, a digital painting I did with watercolor for SpongeBob. So, um, as you can see, I'm using Inkscape to extract the ink, uh, the, the lines from um, a drawing I did with ink. Um, and you can see the video of me doing that on uh, the playlist of daily illustrations. So I do daily illustrations on a daily character and I just walk through my process of drawing characters so that um, people can learn um, to draw their favorite characters and and also uh, it's you know I when I was a kid I would have loved someone to teach me like um, how to draw these characters um, I don't go like every step by step but I do um, explain like how do I deconstruct uh, basic shapes and so on. So here I'm also I'm, I'm, I use this image to draw a SpongeBob. I'm using that image for color reference, uh, just to give me an idea to stay consistent with um, the original colors. Um, so uh, in terms of Clip Studio Paint, I also did a short tutorial on how to bring the inks from uh, to Clip Studio from uh, uh, from paper, like because I. I, I don't have a scanner, I don't have a printer, I just, uh, what I do is I uh, draw on paper and then I take a picture of it with my cell phone and then I put, bring the phone, the, I put the picture on my computer and then I extract uh, the lines on Inkscape and then I bring those extracted lines to Clip Studio to, to paint. Um, so here the idea was to use uh, different watercolor brushes because I kind of discovered what they can do like the different effects like the um, I've discovered recently the fingertip smudging tool which is pretty interesting creates pretty interesting effects um, so yeah so I'm I'm self thought that um, and that includes digital art um, um, so you know I kind of learned by watching and I learned by doing um, I there are a lot of digital painting that I've done which <laughs> I'm really embarrassed to show because uh, not because I don't know because it's always I don't know if they are good or not and also I don't think the I got the effect I wanted um, so what I was going to like idea of this illustration was I was going to use like I said watercolor brushes and I'm going I was going to use those brushes in a way that will make the character pop from the rest of the background so like if you see like SpongeBob, like he, uh, of course, like the uh, line is is clearly um, there are lines that uh, like hard lines to limit his colors. And uh, but if you see the background, um, they're actually purely done in brushes. There are no inks uh, or pencils. Um, and so this again, I'm as usual. I use Clip Studio Paint, the software to paint. Um, this is a quick painting. The whole painting took me around 25 minutes. Um, by the way, I would like to plug the fact that if you want the full version of the video, you can become a Patreon and get exclusive content with tutorials, specific tutorials, uh, um, like for podcasts and, and things like that. Um, for, so for me, the, the important point for me is to practice, especially in color, because I'm, I'm, I'm really bad because I'm, I didn't study color and theory. I, I learned just by watching pictures and try to replicate the effect. I watch a lot of videos of other artists who teach uh, digital painting. Uh, for those who are tuning in for the first time to my channel, I've started making uh, daily illustrations um, because like, I... You know, I, I figured I, I can't encourage people to practice every day and not do it myself. So I do daily illustrations. You can see the videos on the playlist. I'm also working on videos for Superhero Anatomy, um, Clip Studio tutorials, and uh, general drawing advice um, and hints. Um, um, and um, that was my. <laughs> uh, there was that. That that was my phone. Um, <laughs> so whether I record myself drawing or not, I, I usually draw every day, but I figured why not draw live and give tips to people on how to draw. Um, and by the way, if you, uh, if you're watching this, please leave a comment if you want to suggest ideas to improve my videos. 
because I'm always looking to like to find figure ways out to, to, to improve them. Um, and of course, if you have questions or if there are any things you're struggling with in drawing, let me know if maybe if I can help. I, if, I, if I can help, I will make a video for it. Um, but otherwise, uh, what I'm doing is like, I kind of try to see, especially when it comes to digital painting, try to see like, how can I um, separate this into different layers? But as you can see, I'm, I'm usually I work with many layers, but in this case, I'm working with uh, uh, like three, three layers and four if you include the actual, uh, the, the, the ink lines that I've extracted from uh, the drawing I did. Um, so you have the background and um, I just I, as you will see I will add another layer so I think two layers for the background um, one layer for uh, colors of uh, SpongeBob colors and then a uh, one layer of uh, shadow so the way I do shadow I know that um, there are a lot of techniques there like uh, putting the uh, layer on uh, multiply mode that so multiply mode usually makes the colors beneath the the, the layer below uh, the colors from the layer below darker uh, that's usually what people use to to create shadow I kind of go uh, with um, like the black but when then I play with the transparency like the opacity to to sort of create uh, more or less darker shadows depending on where it's placed um, and actually uh, you know, if you are, let me know also, like, if you are, uh, if you're watching this, if you're a beginner, um, if you know already how to dig paint digitally, and, uh, uh, like, you yeah, know, I'd like to know. Other than that, I think, um, like I said, just try to practice every day, like, uh, um, and I think you will find out uh, more and more like how um, things work like um, in terms of color and uh, like I said I'm, I'm self-taught I didn't learn color theory I I, I didn't go to art school um, and yet I so I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with this one because of course like the idea was to do a really quick digital painting uh, and and I sort of needed some colors because uh, <laughs> Sometimes I love pencils, I love inks, uh, but you know, um, that's the point of being an artist. Like you can't just sit in your comfort zone. Like um, I'm really comfortable with pencils. I love pencils. I love sketching and I've, and, and I've started liking inking. Um, but you know, I also want to grow as an artist and with, so, you know, I want to improve myself. I want to, uh, improve my coloring skills. So I, I always try and, uh, put myself out there, um, um, so here actually I'm just starting to add um, his, his, his um, yeah. but actually I just wanted to have some different colors like because as you can see um, I didn't draw the door or the windows like I mean um, it's, it's a house so um, I just wanted to have like uh, some interesting color contrast um, so because you know it's like usually uh spongebob is yellow and uh you know the blue blue and yellow work really well together and i think uh you know as you can see also in the picture the reference that i used um it, it it's really obvious like it's it's really great um again i keep the reference uh close by just to uh, sort of quickly look at the things i can do um i mean it's not um I didn't, as I said, it, this was done in 25 minutes. I didn't take so much time to focus on the exact line and uh, the edges and so on. So this was just to have fun and sort of experiment with the uh, uh, watercolor brushes. Um, and if you, so again, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions to have to improve my channel, please let me know. Um, I'm always trying, find, trying to find ideas, like new ideas for videos, new ideas to improve myself, new ideas to improve my channel. So, uh, and I just uh, started, like I've, I've been focusing on this channel a lot lately. So, um, I really appreciate it. So, until next time, this is Boris, um, Sketchman Boris. I'll catch you in another video.